Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Samuel Flores, and today I'm going to talk about single-use plastics. Uh, the purpose of this speech is to persuade and to see why we need to ban single-use plastics. So imagine you're watching your favorite movie in, in your living room, and you're feeling comfortable and you're having a good time, and suddenly someone knocks at your door and drops a box of plastics. What will you do? A lot of people will probably guess why they're dropping boxes of plastics. And then you, you get the box of plastics and you put it in your living room. Five minutes later, another person knocks at your door and gives you another box with more plastics. By the time that more people are coming, five minutes later, five minutes later, your whole living room is full of box, but nothing with plastic stuff. Well, as silly as the story sounds, that's how we are treating our oceans. More than, if I'm not mistaken here, more than uh, eight million tons of waste is being thrown into the water. And I, I should correction, 8.3 billion tons of plastic. This is an estimate of what's being thrown, getting, and it's ending up in the in the water. So I, I so I decided to um, find out what's the root cause of the problem. Why are we having so much plastic in the oceans? And the number one contributor of plastics in the ocean is rivers. A lot of people are throwing uh, straws. Um, cut, little cutleries, even potato chip bags into the river and the river are acting like a conveyor belt so they're dumping all that plastic into the ocean. The problem with plastic is that it's so in, it, endurable that it will take up to 800 years to decompose and break down. And even after it breaks down, there's another problem. And the problem is microbeads. Let me, you guys are wondering, what is microbeads? Basically, oh, microplastics. Microbeads and microplastics are, basic, are essentially small plastic pieces that broke down from, from, from either a plastic cup or a plastic container, and it's now so tiny that the size of like five, mill, five millimeters long. The problem with that is that a lot of the aquatic marine life are confusing for this little, uh, Parts as food, and it has been discovered that even whales have died because they thought it was plankton. It turns out it was nothing but plastic that they ingested. Why is it a problem? Well, let me put it. The researchers suspect that most of the plastic that, that the fish are consuming ends up in our, the food that we eat. That tuna, that uh, tuna sandwich that you probably ate a couple days ago, that may, there must be a likelihood now that it may have some plastics in it. And that's a problem. And the problem is that plastics are toxic. Some plastics have, um, they're, they have two ingredients called cad cadmium and mercury. And you know, high levels of mercury can kill you. There's also another problem, and Ashton Steiner also said that the problem is our habits. You know, habits, there's an expression that old habits are, are hard to kill or to die. And so, as he put it, part of the problem is that trash in our ocean is a symptom of our throwaway society and our approach to how we use our natural resources. In other words, once we discarded that straw that we, we went to McDonald's, it, it, unfortunately, that same straw goes into the ocean, eventually gets there. And I was looking, doing more research on how the life of the, of the plastic bag and the life of a straw. The life of the plastic bag is, is less than eight minutes. The moment, we, the moment we use it, we move our items over to our house, that's it, we, we discard it and throw it away. So what is the solution for our problem? The solution is really is that it's so simple. It's ban single-use plastics. 
And single-use plastics are cutlery, like I mentioned before, soda, water bottles, buffed water bottles, anything to do with um, one-time use of plastics. As you can see in this map, here are some of the countries that have already banned plastic and are, or have a partial ban or some kind of combination. Um, you can see China and, and India, um, some of the countries in Asia and Africa, and even in, in Latin America are beginning to realize that this is a major world problem. It's not just a local problem. So what can we do to ways to reduce personal consumption of single-use plastics ourselves? Well, one thing you can do is get reusable bags. And reusable bags, um, you can buy them at Walmart or any other store where you, they're essentially, you can store it for later. When you ever go shopping, you can buy the, get the bag, the reusable bag, use it, and then use it again, use it again when you need it. Another way you can also reduce plastics um, is buy a mug whenever you have coffee. Instead of going to Starbucks and bring your own mug and ask Starbucks to pour coffee into your mug and go do it. Um, recycle. They say that most of the plastics that we, we have, um, like 20, only 8% of the plastic is recycled. The rest goes into the ocean. So we saw the problem of plastic, how it's damaging marine life and our health. Uh, and this, I shared the bizarre story of someone knocking at your door and why, um, and dropping off the box. But what can you do to, um, to reduce the amount of plastic? Well, I think the number one is bring awareness and recycle. And, there, and, um, and little by little, we will start reducing um, plastic pollution. Thank you. I went over, didn't I? <laughs>